Hi, welcome to another FSD beta video. We are still on version 9 and today I'm not going to do a quick bit one but rather I want to show you a route I'm driving uh, regularly at around the same time of the day which makes it kind of a good example uh, and also a base to compare between different versions. Um, you probably have seen that Elon has announced that version 9.1 is supposed to come end of this week which will be July 31st, I believe, Friday to Saturday. Uh, he was very specific at uh, midnight. So let's see. And I want to use this as kind of like the benchmark or baseline. And you can see on this little map here, the dark blue is city streets and the light blue or whatever color that is, is highway. So it's also a good mix of city streets and highway. And the issues that the beta still has are basically in two categories. One is blind corners, when there is intersections with blind corners, I have quite a few of them on that route. And the second one is being able to pick the right correct lane. There are two crossings I, I drive by regularly, where the car has problems, had problems in the past, um, still has problems in the current version, um, sometimes manages to do uh, all right, but uh, more often than not has problems. And we're going to have a look at all of those in this video. So let's get started. So here we are approaching the first of these, let's say, pain points. Um, it's the, the stop sign at the top of this little hill here. And if you look to the right, there are cars coming and you cannot really see it here, but it's a little bit of, of, a, of a hill. And it's hard to see, even for human drivers, when there are car, cars coming. So what needs to happen here is if the car, once it decides to go, it has to go quite quickly in case there is a car coming from that kind of behind the hill and you have to be quite quick in that intersection. This was a okay -ish maneuver here. It was a little bit slow. I have here a comparison of another time. You can see I start the videos at the same time. The top one is actually a really, really good maneuver. Uh, really quick, confident car goes, while in the bottom version, it takes much more time. It's slower, less confident. So I would like to see on a consistent base the car behaving like in this upper video confident in case there is a car coming there is not going to be an issue so i'm going to be on the lookout for that with the next couple of updates and compare how it uh, deals with this situation now we're approaching the second one um, you can see here in the middle this middle uh, island it's kind of you know occluding to the left to some extent there is a tree there is bushes and um, that sometimes creates issues. Now here in this drive we had another issue. We look at the message on the bottom. The car basically um, says it's waiting and now it's asking me to confirm and it's way back and I confirm that and the car takes that as uh, you know let's go and it was just uh, ready to go into the intersection and you can see there were cars coming. So here this is an interesting one right. The car kind of tells me hey uh, you have to take over, please tell me when it's okay. It's way behind the stop line at this, um, in this situation and I, I cannot see, but I have to basically tap the accelerator to tell the car, you know, you have to move. And that's another of these examples where I think there is a lot of room for improvement on the car driver communication. I've elaborated a little bit on that in one of the previous videos that I see kind of a need to make it clear to the driver what the car is doing next. And, you know, this is a tricky situation. So you have to tell the car, you know, uh, you have to do something, but not too much in a sense. And um, yeah, that's just something that I also would like to see being improved. Now let's have a look again at the same situation from a different day, same crossing. And actually here the car is doing really well. So there's, it's actually kind of funny. There's two cars and watch the red SUV. Um, it's gonna do some strange maneuver um, as soon as it starts going. And um, the FSD beta is actually waiting and doing the right thing. So here, you know, we're going forward to the stop. The red car is turning around, not really sure, not even I'm sure what he's, he or she is doing. My car is waiting. I'm looking as you can see and there is a couple of more cars coming and as soon as it's clear my car is going. So again here an example of how this situation is managed very well and the car is capable of doing that. It just has to do it consistently. Now let's continue with our initial drive.
Next is one of these um, pain points as well. We are approaching an intersection, two lanes, both going straight. Car picks the right one and then turns into the left one. It did blink this time. I had other cases where the blinker wasn't on. And I also had situations where there was another car to the left in, in the lane and my car kind of veered into that left lane. So it's A, unnecessary to pick the right lane and immediately afterwards switch lane to the left one. And B, um, it's also not good to do that in an intersection. So also this is something that I um, want to keep an eye on and see if future versions are dealing better with these type of situations. Next up is an intersection I've shown in a previous video as well. The car um, before version 9 was never able to do it. Under version 9, every now and then it manages to do it correctly, but it also messes up at times. And this is one of those times where it didn't do the right thing. Um, it basically has to go li slightly left and it turns into a left turn lane here. You can see that. And I think the car thinks it has to turn left and it just pulls to the left here and it feels in the car like it's pulling into the oncoming traffic. Um, I think it would have corrected itself and uh, you can see that here in the slow motion. So the car is unsure about the path, it's going straight, it's going left, back and forth and then the steering wheel you know, pulls to the left and I take over. Um, but the path would have gone straight afterwards. So I think it would have been okay, I just don't want to take any chances in situations like this. So for the highway portion, I'm just going to speed up the video here again. Um, I've had an interesting comment from a viewer on a previous video saying why would it be boring or why do we have to speed up these boring quote unquote parts. And it's actually an interesting thought because we have, I guess, kind of already got used to how well the system works on the highway, that it's boring and not interesting. And I think it just shows how far we've come along already in the last couple of years and um, it's going to be interesting to see where we stand in three, four more years and which parts of driving in addition we will find boring to what we see today on highway driving. So here this is actually an accidental disengagement. I was grabbing the steering wheel a little bit too hard and it was kind of doing a jerky move and by doing that it disengaged. So I wouldn't count that as a real disengagement. Here we are slowing down quite aggressively. It's doing that all the time uh, on this in this spot, and I don't know why. It, maybe it is because of these yield signs on the street, or if if it's for some other reason, I'm not sure. But it's doing it consistently in this place here.
Now here we come to a four-way stop. Watch the car on the right. Uh, it's actually coming to a stop a couple of maybe a second or so before us. My car is waiting for the silver car to turn and then it goes at the same time like the SUV here. And I guess the SUV had the right of way. It was maybe there half a second or a second earlier. So uh, kind of uh, an, edge, an edge case here, I would say where FSD didn't pay attention well enough, I guess, who was first. In general, however, I found the four-way stops to be working quite well, and it's usually able to deal with these kind of situations. All right, so this drive is coming to an end. Uh, thanks for riding along with me. This is going to be my baseline or benchmark route that I'm curious to see how the next version 9.1 will be doing. I will do this drive again um, around the same time of the day just to have an as comparable as possible setup. And I hope I'll see you on that next ride as well. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe maybe comment, give it a like, would very much appreciate that. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.